Okay. Here we are. As we play to imagine that the room, the theater stage, is empty inside of this theater stage that is empty I am only consciousness consciousness as the theater and then inside of a theater inside of consciousness made of consciousness they become crystallized this body and all, all this other stuff and other bodies and then the script which everybody is talking like hey, hi, mm, ah, mm, mm, mm. So the bodies and the script in the movie is created from consciousness. So from consciousness, from the empty theater, you can create any script. And basically whatever you can also project, imagine in an empty theater, it will start to become a life experience, a movie. Okay, now, when you have control over what your mind is doing, and you can go into meditation and witness the empty, empty mind, empty theater, then it's really easy to project a movie that you want to choose because whatever idea for the movie you can imagine the universe already is producing that okay so you're just like selecting a channel in the infinite uh, cable TV there are infinite movies so but you need to just be relaxed enough and your mind to be relaxed enough so you can select something effortlessly and allow it to play and then in the movie your avatar will also go and just participate in the movie that has been chosen so this would work really effectively if your mind wasn't like blah, 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 all the time okay it's simply that this avatar, this puppet, has loaded so many information that it's not able to recycle this information so it can stay empty and then choose from empty state, okay? Uh, so, we will talk about two practice uh, that we can do to empty out the avatar. Now, first of all, is that what I've learned to work best for me is like, I don't bother to do so many things. Actually, I have so many projects, so many things, but in one day, In one day, I do one thing. And the thing that I choose to do, so I mean, I get up, I have a cold shower, I brush my teeth, I do my yoga, I have these routines, normal things, you know, to maintain, you know, eat some food, uh, do some stretching, do some yoga, do some breathing. All of these things that are just functional things are ritually inscribed. So this is something on repeat, you know, you wake up and all this. But life and the theater and the other co-actors okay I don't have uh, businesses right I, I don't do 10 things for my business in a day I do one thing and then maybe socially I see one friend and not every day, okay? Because if I'm doing one thing at a time, 
then my day can start with four hours of just like emptying out the mind, just relaxing, looking at a tree, having my coffee, doing some stretching, then sitting there breathing. And then when I empty out the mind, it's like, what is one most beneficial thing that will get me highest rate of success? So if I want then... I don't know, bu like buy some real estate, buy a house, whatever other projects. It's like I only need to figure out what is one step to do today. So the intellect does not know this. You have to really also talk to the universe. Like what is the best thing that I do today? let's say to upgrade something in my business to have a million instead of like I don't know what fifty thousand dollar revenue to have a million dollar profit so literally it's this simple because there is one thing to do on that day that the infinite intelligence can tell you that will move you way ahead so there's no need to go around and like <laughs> do all these things there is one thing that is necessary to do they give you highest result and then work finish okay and then you enjoy the rest of your day and you do your routine and in this way even in this mode, the mind has so many things to process. Because the body has so many information. The body collects so much information. Okay. Now, you might be saying, but I'm like every day moving, traveling the world, all these people, all this information. Yeah. But you are going to decide in future how you distribute your time, how you distribute your, your awareness. So I'm just saying this is something that worked for me and I can have way better results. When I have over so much information, I can't do shit. I can do so many things, no result. Because the mind gets scattered, fragmented. So the, the first thing is then, if we have so much information, you know, because I watched TikTok for two hours yesterday, <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then my mom came and told me like her story, and it was all problems. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and we're getting stressed out, because body is remembering too much information. Now... What the body does, everything that goes in the energetic memory of body needs to also be expressed or get out of there. So big problem and easy solution when you cannot get into empty theater and design whatever you want. You need to declutter the information that you have inside but I will tell you easy solution but what the big problem is if you try to meditate like the body will feel restless because now all of these things in the body all of these thoughts they want to actually move this puppet into action and the pup then they want to ah and this and this and blah 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 now, it's almost then impossible also for these people that have so much information and so many neuroses and like stress and all these things to do. It's all these, it's all these energies. They want to do something with the body all at the same time. They want to go and make the body have a sandwich and make the body smoke a cigarette and make the body scroll on the phone and make the body. So now the body is becoming a prisoner of all of these actions, they need to actually animate the body to do all this stuff and the mind is getting... Blah, 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 blah. So, you have a classic, classic 
diagnosis of being over-informed and not enough space to declutter. Okay. Now, if you try to meditate and then go into state of emptiness, quantum fields, empty theater, samadhi, it feels like you can't go because the body is saying, but what about my, uh, uh, but what about, what about my uh, bus ticket? What about my money? What about my, did I text back to this person? Did I, so there's all these unfinished actions that are now moving the mind and moving the body into action, but not one action that is focus action, but 10 millions of different actions. So you just feel crazy. Blah, 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 okay. So here, and this is what I did last time for you because you're going crazy with 10 million things that didn't matter. So I said, can I kill you like we were in a theater? If you remember. Which simply for me is I can get the perspective of the emptiness. And inside, before you go into emptiness, there's a destroyer, okay? So this is a Kali Kriya, yeah? Destroyer is able to cut all of these thoughts and energies they want to animate the body to cut them and dissolve them. Now, here is the thing like how this works like my body if I sit in meditation right now I feel stuff in my body right but if I completely surrender to the emptiness then automatically this Kriya will come and it will just uh, defragment this stuff and then you will have an empty mind but it is weird if you don't know for the first thing of all things is that when your mind is saying, but what about, but what about, but what about, but what about this unfinished business, this unfinished, what about this unfinished, this not finished, this unfinished, I have to finish, 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 go, 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 sandwich, or for a cigarette, uh, I have to, I have to, I will, but what will, but what will be what will my mom, but, but then, then but the people, but this guy, but this guy on the dating app, blah, 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 blah. So if you think with your, if you look with your perspective, if you look with your awareness that you are all these things, these things, these ideas, but these, they don't want to die. They are programmed in a way to finish their animation when they express w w everything that they wanted to say and do. And if you're then adding more things to do, more options, more worrying, then you're just adding more and you're over loading this one body that can do one thing at a time efficiently actually can also walk and talk and like do a few things at the same time you know you can skateboard and uh, play a violin I saw a guy do which is amazing but it might not be efficient if you get all pretzeled up in a chaos so I'm saying before you experience that you can just delete, you have to dissociate from your intentions, all of these million intentions that you need to ah, do, okay? Because it's just becoming a freak show. Now to dissociate from this, you need to associate with what? Emptiness. Because in the emptiness, none, none of this is real, okay? So in the emptiness, all of this is a construct, but you are just pure consciousness. When you can kind of lean back, go back into this pure consciousness, there is supreme peace. It's weird, yes. Like for the what we recognize as usual or normal and a human like what humans do in the theater. 
this is just like is emptying out your operating system but what the body does now is like all oh, just energies are just decompressing okay and it's kind of like becoming empty on purpose but by connecting to emptiness and then automatically your karma your energetic memory that you have to finish your karma so your body will need to go and then this karma is going to be defragmented but now you can feel more relaxed in the body and there's still like all these like energies moving so advice maybe recommendation to try is connect with awareness and the empty theater and but really relax into the empty because here is everything ah but empty is also right here so if you choose the empty then awareness can amplify it can magnify the empty and then all of this hi but i need to <laughs> stressing out uh, all of this can like it will kind of go on the circumference so like you will feel like your thoughts are moving away from you and you're just becoming this emptiness and then all these thoughts and all this kriya are just happening kind of like a sensation that is just passing by and you remain as this emptiness and so nothing interests you anymore because it's just I, 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 I. now the thoughts they have some kind of pull and the body sensations they have some kind of pull unless you choose to give yourself a hundred percent or at least ninety percent to the emptiness then you will literally feel that your thoughts are like over here they're not like here anymore and like in they're moved away from you and they're just going away and then when you become empty when you decide to insert new thoughts there might be no thoughts then you may say okay what are the most best possible thoughts that i want to select and project and then again detach from that and just watch the movie play out and just go and enjoy life and it's like you don't have to worry you don't have to think the the movie just plays of what you projected already automatically by you selecting the idea and you can go and be like hi yeah like if you only did like hi yeah amazing let's do it hi yeah amazing let's do it or just yeah yeah um namaste um like if you only did this life would work itself out perfectly like you will get the money you will get the house you get you just go hi yeah cool yeah right cool yeah so there's no actually need to even do a lot more but you can choose to do a lot more for fun but don't wait don't make it too much so i hope this helps And I will also stay here and then watch my body also just move these energies. So body goes like this and like don't like when the body is doing automatically like Kriya it can start to look weird or whatever, but it's just like this feminine flows and the masculine architecture. They're just like purging everything. So whatever then is happening, forget about it. Don't let it go to your head and try to again analyze it with the intellect or whatever. I mean, I speak about it intellectually because after seeing it, so many times it starts to like uh, 
I started to have make words for it, right? But then actually this intelligence of like Kriya and empty theater is way wider than your little linguistic mind story, okay? So it's a higher intelligence or a wider intelligence. And that that moves and empties out the karma and then you go in the world and collect new karma or you live more simply less is more you can do more with less your intention is more powerful when you can focus your heart mind into whatever you're selecting and it doesn't need overthinking and then you don't need to open like all these tabs and all these channels and all these possibilities and never finish anything or you can open as much as you want and then you know if you finish what you're doing in the day that you are living then tomorrow you have again open field of creation and you can just add on new things because what you have created will be already present around you as circumstances and then you can add the next step the next day if you do one step a day the best possible step you will amount to a lot of results great results that uh, if people are trying to do something by just doing 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 that can be effective too but it can also be overwhelming so this is how I do it And actually, it's not even, it's just a maintenance. Like, the Kriya is just a maintenance. You don't do it. You just relax into the observer and it's just like, it just rolls. And all these, like, weird, complex, intricate, energetic patterns are just systematically harmonizing. Okay. And this is what I did uh, for you to get out of all this like blah, 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 information before I just became this observer then through the destroyer archetype told your energies to whoosh, recycle and then all of a sudden you know what happened and then all of a sudden you were like oh my god la 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 right because now you feel lighter because there's n there's no <laughs> unfinished business processes trying to right so that's a lot to handle all right uh, okay i will sit here and defragment my own stuff and then uh, see you later yeah